Um, my name is Veer van Gogh, um, Veer van Gogh in Dutch. Uh, I'm originally from Amsterdam, but I live in New York where I work at the New Museum. And I'm the associate director of Idea City, which is the New Museum's platform to explore art and culture beyond the walls of the museum in the civic realm. They're very related to what I've seen at Imagina. Um, I think for want, we work often in areas in the city that aren't necessarily recognized as places for art and culture. Um, two, we work a lot with local community and neighbors, unheard voices that haven't had a chance yet to sit at the table to decide what art and culture should be for themselves. And three, we work with emerging artists and architects and designers and interdisciplinary practices to find that kind of magic triangle between art, the public domain and civic, inter civic action. Mm -hmm. I think it's important for us as arts organizations and emerging arts organizations to define what success means in new terms and in new, in new metrics. So from an exhibition perspective, success might be the amount of visitors, but from what Idea City does, it's really not the amount of visitors. It's the kind of relationships that are built, the network that is, is established, and um, the type of dynamics and ideas and collaborations that come out of that. That's not typical success in terms of cultural production, but for us that is the success. And I think that is a shared vision that I've seen what's happening here at Imagina because it's not about the beautiful photos that come of the event. It's not about having 200 people attend a festival. It's about activating neighborhoods and trying to see what you can do with little interventions. So that's, that's a shared vi vision, so to say. In general, museums and cultural institutions should experiment. If they don't, then they're not needed. If they're just representing what is out there, then there is no premise for them to exist. So point one, experimentation is good. Point two, I think it's a really exciting curve to put artists but also architects and neighbors together. I do think it brings up challenges with regards to authorship. I think an artist in its practice and an architect in their practice have a very different relationship to what their own agency role and, and yeah individual personality is and then again neighbors too. It's on the one hand very fragile to walk into a neighborhood and say well these artists are going to propose this idea and these architects thought that this is right for your neighborhood. So I think one of the challenges that I've seen with Imagina and I see that with not just Imagina, I see that with all cultural institutions that engage in this type of yeah, civic work is how do you include the voices and the expertise of neighbors and I think that is the next step. How do you kind of decentralize that power dynamic between the artist and the architect and the neighbors. Often the neighbors in the neighborhood ends up at the lowest part of the triangle, so to say. And I think in even experimenting more with formats, how can you make the neighbor the artist and how can you let them collaborate and how can you let a neighbor influence the research of an architect and the research of an artist before they develop their projects. And I think that is an exciting kind of avenue to explore. I think it's really, it's really important to show audiences and be open about the fact that conflict exists and conflict, in my opinion, is needed to create and imagine new realities, so to say. If everything was pretty, we wouldn't be doing the work that we're doing. So I, I, I think it's a very important move to highlight that conflict. What's actually ultimately most important is the fact that this is a public institution, so to say, and it's supported by the government, and that there is this sequence of almost like a route of collaboration where a neighbor would, like myself, if I think back about where I live, I don't necessarily know who my local representative is in government. I'm a hyper-political person, but that's not how I work. So to have that sequence from neighbor to a skill up 
to politics and have art and culture mediate that is amazing. And I think that is what I think is most exciting and successful about Imagina.